you guys have waited long enough for this video. Well, it's finally here after almost a week or so. But it wasn't as long as my last video. But in my last video, I said I was going to make a video about my pedal board. Well, that day is today. Yep, that's right. So, got everything turned on and ready to go. So I'm going to be showing you guys how this pedal board all works. And then in the next video, I will be doing a demonstration of how it all sounds. So, here's how it works. So, the way it is is that this cable right here, this part goes out of the guitar and then it goes into the tuner and then from the tuner it goes into the overdrive pedal and then into the overdrive out of there into the volume pedal and then from the volume pedal into the timeline and then the timeline delay pedal to the big sky reverb pedal and then from there into the boss loop station these two are by boss by the way and then coming out of that into the iridium now, the multi-switch is hooked up to the timeline, which these two are both communicating to each other. But the big sky cannot communicate with the timeline. The timeline can only communicate with the big sky. So, yeah. So, that's how it works. So, now I'll show you what the power supply looks like. Alright, so here's what the power supply looks like. So, this is a Strymon Ojai. And it consists of nothing but 500 milliamps. So basically, you don't have to worry about certain pedals having to be more milliamps than the other, which is nice because for the timeline of the Big Sky and also another big pedal from Strymon called the Mobius, all three of them need 500 milliamps or else it's not going to work properly. And then here's the brick which powers from here, and then it goes into there. So, uh, yeah, that's the power supply, and for the pedal board, it is a Pedal Train Novo 24. Oh, by the way, this video is uh, dedicated to to James Ransom, because he just started a YouTube channel. He's a good friend of mine. And, uh, yeah, he also has the, the Strymon Duo. I like to call it the Duo. But, uh, yeah. And and the same pedal board, so, yeah. So that's the power supply. Alright, so now for the amps. Oh, by the way, I am running stereo, as you can see by these two. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. So for the amps, I'm running a, um, through a Fender Champion 20, which is a 20-watt Fender amp. And then I'm running through... A Fender Champion 100. So yeah, so these two amps right here, they're running stereo. But yeah, I must say they they sound good. I mean, there's nothing too much to say about them except for the fact that they sound good. So yeah, so those are the amps I'm gonna be using. As you can see, it's on a British setting. I have it on the clean British tone, which these can also change colors. But I currently have it. I'm British. And the gain is set at between 3 and 4. Then I have the volume at a certain amount so that my camera's mic can pick up good, which also I am using my phone. But I do have a tripod. Yep. So this is my dad's tripod that he got from his work because I need to get a good view of my pedal board. So, uh, yeah. So this is what it's going to look like in the next video. So, uh, yeah. And also the 100s on the British setting, too, in case you didn't know that. So, yeah. So, both these are going to be on 3 o'clock. Well, the highest, um, the highest volume setting they can go on is 10. Same thing with the gain setting. And, uh, yeah. This kind of looks like a traffic light, almost. With the green, the orange, and the red. Which I think looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, the 100 does not have that. And I don't know... If the Champion 40 has that either. But, uh, yeah. 
And then for the guitar, I'm going to be playing this. Yep, my Fender Telecaster Nashville. Now, this is like one of the best tellies I've ever played because it can do anything a Strat can do because it's wired how a Strat is wired up. And these are also noiseless pickups, which is pretty cool. And yes, I know um, the noiseless board is fading off on the second pickup, but you get the idea. But uh, yeah, this thing sounds pretty good. It's uh, It's got the 70s vibe logo on it, because it's got the the uh, the big Telecaster word. And then it's also uh, made in Mexico. So, uh, yeah. So it's pretty cool. Well, so this is my pedal board rundown, so stay tuned to the next video, which is part two of this pedal board, of how it sounds through my amps. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, that'll be it. Be sure to go check out uh, James Ransom's channel because he just started his YouTube channel again. So, so yeah. That being said, I'll see you in the next part of this video where I give a demo of how this sounds.